Hi, I've been making lots of Josephine knots lately because I've been working on this new snowflake design and it's got um, Josephine knots at the end of each of the points of this, this uh, snowflake. So I thought it'd be a good idea to make a quick video on Josephine knots. So they're called knots but they're really a ring and they're made with the second half of the double stitch only. Uh, usually 10 half stitches is a good number for a Josephine knot. So I'm going to make one now, the first one as most people would normally do them, just 10 second half of a double stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and close the ring. Like so, and then carry on with your chain. So I'm going to make three more stitches, or no, a couple more, let's say five, just for a bit of space here. So here it is, this is the first one. I don't know if you can see here, it just tends to flip backwards a bit on the end here, where you've closed the ring, closed the Josephine knot. So I've found a couple of tricks I think help to make it sit nicer on top of your chain. So this is how I made them. It's the same really, but it's sort of ten half double stitches. And what's important is also to not pull them too tight, each half double stitch, and make sure you're consistent with the height of them. So that it makes a nice even Josephine knot. I don't know if you see, so I want this here to be all the same width all the way along. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, you've really got to try to make them as even as possible so that when you close your Josephine knot, it's got a nice even shape all the way around. So what I've found that helps to prevent this sort of flipping back here at the end is to pass your shuttle through the loop before you close it from front to back, like this, and then close your ring. And then the second thing that I do is to start the chain, when I'm going to continue with my chain, with the second half of a double stitch, which really helps anchor the Josephine knot and fills the gap underneath as well. So that's the second half and then I'm carrying on with my regular stitches, first half, double half, and just continue with normal stitches. Snug my chain. So that's what it looks like. To me it just has a, it just looks nicer, a better shape. It's more straight onto the chain. Here's the first one. And here's the second one. With passing the shuttle through the loop and then starting the chain with the second half of a double stitch. So that's it. That's my little trick on Josephine knots. See you next time. Bye bye.